All right, and that is your rush plug. Now to a story that has been trending over the weekend. A six part documentary of singer R. Kelly has a lot of people talking this morning. I'm sure a lot of you saw it. I definitely saw all six of them yesterday from decades long abuse allegations to claims that the singer has been keeping girls locked in his Atlanta home. Let's just say nothing was left out watching this series. Now I want to bring in Liza Lucas and Liza you're at the bridge and there's more reaction here. That's right. We've been monitoring that social reaction all weekend long. Hollywood heavily reacting to Lifetime's docu-series, which features more than 50 interviews, including women accusing Kelly of physical, mental and sexual abuse. Now, in 2008, Kelly was found not guilty on charges connected to an underage girl. The musician also accused of holding six women against their will in 2017. Now, he's not been charged in connection with any other allegations and has consistently denied these claims against him. But John Legend was just one of many in the series, and he was very vocal on Twitter this weekend, saying these survivors deserve to be lifted up and heard. I hope it gets them closer to some kind of justice. We also saw a lot of activity from Jada Pinkett Smith, who said she decided to watch this with her daughter Willow. It was tough to watch, but deeply important. And then later we saw her follow up on Twitter saying, how is it that R. Kelly's music sales have spiked since the release of that series? It's been very vocal online. The reaction continued to flow in this morning as those episodes were rolled out. And we've also seen the number for the National Sexual Assault Hotline being shared from multiple organizations across social media for those who need it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We will be talking about this more at 630. Thanks so much, Liza.